Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to do a drag race episode, putting the Old Head Freight Train Pro side by side with the Cannabis Hardware B2. We're going to put these things to the test, running them through these two Tabletop Bongs, both in Galaxy Black today. We're going to use glass bowls for each one, so I'm going to use a glass shovel head style bowl with the B2, and I'm going to use the stock glass bowl that comes with the Freight Train Pro. Inside the two tabletop bongs today, we're going to use these matrix style stems. I just got these in, so I'm pretty excited to use them. So we're going to have the exact same stem in each bong so that we know that we're going to get the same action in each bong when we draw on it. I'm going to use a mouthpiece today so I can move a little more vapor a little more quickly than I can with the whip hose and I'll just show you the kind of action that we can anticipate here. Alright, so we're going to get lots of airflow through both of these bongs. We're going to run three rips side by side and just check out what happens. I'm not trying to determine if one is better than the other, I'm certainly not going for that. What I'm doing is I'm showing you two of the most popular uh, ball vapes in the world right now. And I'm letting you see them side by side. And that's all that we're trying to do here. So in order to be fair, we're going to have to do three different heats. We're going to go 600 on the PID for a rip with dry herbs. Then we're going to go to 650 on the PID with both of them and do a rip on dry herbs. And then we're going to leave it at 650 and to conclude the video we'll go ahead and we'll do a double stack with both uh, devices and we'll do a dry herb slash concentrate rip just to finish off the video and to make sure that the driver has had his fill <laughs> for today. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. Today we're going to vape a sativa called frozen lemons coming in at around uh, 20, I think it was around 24%. Uh, THC but what I really like about this particular strain is for a sativa it has kind of a an indica or a hybrid kind of a hit being that it uh, it actually can give me like make me almost what's the right word I'm looking for the right word uh, maybe a little less intelligent <laughs> <laughs> after a few bowls, right? Just kind of uh, takes the edge off of my intelligence if there is any to start with. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just drop these right in here. 600 degrees. Let me get between the goal posts here. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip this for as long as I can uh, without clearing the bomb. And then... I'll remove the heat sources and I'll clear the bongs and we'll just watch what happens in the meantime, all right? Cheers. Oh, maybe just a little bit of vapor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy smokes! Well, my friends, <coughs> that was something. <coughs> it's a little bit hard for me to tell. And I'm trying to, to look in the the screen, the display in front of me to see what's happening in the bongs. <coughs> I can't really tell, but I can tell you the weed coming out of these looks pretty much identical. Let's get these PIDs up to 650 right away here so that they can heat up while I'm getting ready for the next one. Oh, that was fun. That hit hard. <coughs> Both of these uh, ball vapes, they pick up uh, temperature pretty quickly, so it won't take long to get these things up to, to 650 degrees. And this is the only temperature change we're going to do through this video. Um, but obviously at 600, there was a good amount of vapor production. But I anticipate <coughs> this particular rip might 
show a little bit differently um, because the amount of distance between the heat source with this glass shovel head bowl when you put the B2 on it, it's much closer. The heat is much closer to the weed than it is when you're using the injector head with this Freight Train Pro. Where the Freight Train Pro shines in my mind is when you get into slightly higher temperatures. Like I don't normally even start with my Freight Train Pro until 650 on the PID. That's about where I like it. I like to have uh, really nice, thick, robust rips, right? I don't want it to be too thin and wispy. I like to go with the big one and done style rips for the most part, unless, you know, maybe in the middle of the afternoon or something, if I've decided to, to have a little vape for a particular reason, I might, you know, go slightly lower temperatures and and hit it a little more, uh, more often, I suppose, right? Are we up to 640? Now yeah, they're they're pretty much picking up at the same pace, although the Cannabis Hardware B2 has three millimeter rubies in it, whereas the Freight Train Pro has four millimeter. It's interesting that they're picking up the temperature at around the same rate. Um, and the reason why I'm sure old head went with the four millimeter rubies in the in the pro was for the airflow right the bigger the uh the bigger the ball in it the the less restriction there's going to be for airflow so their goal was to really open this up and to uh push this 100 watt coil to its maximum and and to use this uh this finned injector right like the injector has these fins on it and the injector head on these things, it's super cool. I mean, there's a reason why these two vaporizers are thought to be two of the premier ball vapes in the world, right? Like, they're they're pretty awesome, awesome devices. Okay, I think we're there. 649, 650, close enough. Well, and we'll just drop that on for a second. We'll drop this injector in for a second. I'm gonna move this mouthpiece, get myself set up between the goal posts. And we're gonna see what happens when we uh, when we rip this one. So I think what I'm gonna try doing, I'm just I'm trying to refine my draw technique to get more out of each one of these draws. I think I'm gonna start with a, a bit of a faster draw to activate to get the heat into the weed, right? Because we're starting at 650, so it shouldn't take much to activate. And then I'm gonna really slow down and draw out the draw length a little bit, if possible. Cheers. Well then. <laughs> Holy! <coughs> well, who? That's something. <coughs> Let me just clear these bongs out. <laughs> All right, my friends, <laughs> that rip <coughs> literally made me sweat a little bit. <laughs> now I'm thinking about this and I'm going, what did I get myself into? Suggesting that we'll try <laughs> concentrates in this format too. <laughs> Am I really <coughs> this crazy? <laughs> Turns out I am. All right, let's do it. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I know that there's no way I'm doing another take of this video back to back on this. So whatever happens here, you're gonna see it. <coughs> and I'm not editing anything. I never really edit my videos anyway. I just <coughs> clean them up at the start in the beginning. And otherwise I let whatever happens through the entire time I'm recording, I just let it run. And I show it all to you because I figure if nothing else, 
<coughs> we can have a pretty good laugh at my expense every now and then, right? All right, so I'm gonna grab some diamonds here and uh, <coughs> we'll get ready to to do this. So I'm gonna put the uh, <coughs> the heads in place. Oh, <laughs> let me move this mouthpiece. All right, so we'll drop some uh, diamonds here in the B2 and then we'll drop the carb cap on and then we'll drop some diamonds on top of the Freight Train Pro and we will rip it. What do you think? Sound good? I'll try and get a reasonably even amount for both. Got to move a little bit quick here now, don't I? Cheers. Wow. That's about my upper limits of how much I can vape in one video. <coughs> oh, I didn't expect it to hit quite that hard. Gotta clear the bongs though. <coughs> so there you go, guys. As you can see, both of these can be used as purely dry herb vaporizers or they're excellent for dry herb and concentrate together. <coughs> In order to clean the uh, Freight Train Pro now, what I'll do is I'll knock that PID up to about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll just let it sit there for a five minute burn off. <coughs> and otherwise, I'm just gonna use a Q-tip with a little ISO in the B2, and I'll clean that one up. So, there you go. I hope that uh, if you had any question about how these two would operate compared to one another, <coughs> I hope that that video helps you understand that. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Needless to say, at the end of the day, these are both two really, really awesome, fun to use ball babes. Even more fun to use when you're using them together. All right, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this or got anything out of it at all. Until next time, take care.